there's a real chance that Civilization 7 will be released this year, and today I'm going to tell you why. I've scoured the internet for the latest news, looked back at the history of the series and even come face to face with a few Firaxis job adverts, all to give you my prediction on when we're going to get our hands on the next Civilization game. It's important to note that this video is going to work on the presumption that when it was announced that Varaxis, the development studio behind the series, are in development of the next iteration of the legendary Civilization franchise, this was referring to Civ 7. Though theoretically the next Civ game could be a spin-off like Civilization Colonization or Civilization Beyond Earth, with Civ 6 having so much success over several platforms, it makes sense for Axis to capitalise on this and focus on creating a direct successor in the form of Civilization 7. We also know that Firaxis posted a job advert in November 2021 looking for someone with a knowledge and passion for world history to act as narrative lead for their next AAA strategy game, suggesting very much that Civ 7 is in the works. One of the biggest reasons to suggest that we won't have to wait too much longer for Civ 7 is that it was officially announced to be in development back in February 2023. Yes, there is an argument that this doesn't mean much at all because the announcement didn't even come with an official trailer, and to be honest we learnt essentially nothing about the game, like we don't even know what it will be called, so really the project could have been in a very early stage of development. Even so, if the next Civ game is not set to release until after 2024, that is a very early announcement by the standards of Firaxis, who usually don't leave us waiting too long between announcement and release. It also has to be said that the gap since the last Civ game would, on the face of it, suggest Civilization 7 is imminent. It's been over 7 years since Civ 6 released in October 2016, which is the largest gap between mainline Civilization games in the series' history. Previously, the biggest gap between installments was the 6 year gap between Civ 5 and Civ 6. Now, even though Civ 6's lifespan was undoubtedly extended by the sheer amount and scale of the post-release content it received, alongside the game's successful ports to other platforms, a release after 2024 would leave us heading towards 9 years without a new mainline Civ game, which seems an overly long time. It's not just a long wait since the last Civilization game for Axis released either. Though Firaxis continues to support the game with post-launch DLC, Marvel's Midnight Suns was the developer's latest release in December 2022. With Civilization 7 appearing to be the next major release from Firaxis, for a studio that tends to release a major title every couple of years as a general rule, if the next instalment of the Civilization series does not release in 2024, the gap between major releases by the studio will be uncharacteristically large. Furthermore, a new product marketing position for someone with a wealth of knowledge of Firaxis titles, with an emphasis on the Civilization series, was advertised by the developer at the end of last year, giving yet another piece of evidence to the argument that Civ 7 will be fully announced and then released this year. We'll be following all the Civilization 7 news, so if instead of trying to keep up with the Civ 7 updates yourself, you'd rather spend your time playing Civ, or maybe doing some work, or possibly just watching the bath run, because you're a little bit lazy like me. Don't worry about it, just hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn your notifications on, we've got you covered. We've also got some really cool videos coming up, looking forward to Civ 7, including what mechanics, civilizations and leaders we'd like to see in the game, which we are really excited about, so if you want to stick around for those, please do. So the last time I asked this, many of you predicted that we'd have to wait until next year for Civ 7, so I guess we'd best look at why we might have to wait a little longer. By the way, if this video changes your mind, or even if it doesn't, feel free to vote on the community poll I just posted about this today and see for yourself when others think the game will launch. The fact is that Civilization 7 is going to be an enormous challenge for the developers and it's feasible it might not be ready for release this year. Because Civ 6 is such a complete game at this point, if it is to convince players to spend their hard earned money, Civ 7 will need to have plenty of content and several new and improved game features from launch. Areas like combat, city building and the AI are just some which could be due a major shakeup to entice players to make the leap from Civ 6. As games are getting more and more DLC for longer these days, often in the form of game passes as we saw with Civ 6, Civilization 7 will also need to be good enough to be the home of Civilization content well beyond the end of the current decade, and this won't only be on PC. Because of the success of Civilization 6 on consoles, 
Braxis will want its successor to do what it can to give console players the best experience of the game and one which works as well on console as it does on PC. All of this means that the development time for Civilization 7 could be significant, and more than we have seen before on a Civilization game, leading to fans having to wait a little longer to get their hands on it. Not only this, but with Civilization 6 and Firaxis's other major titles of XCOM and Marvel's Midnight Suns receiving significant post-release content over the last few years, the Civ 6 Leaders Pass didn't even end until March 2023, much of the developers' resources will have been tied up elsewhere. Though we don't know exactly when the development of the game started, if it was around 2021 or 2022 as the narrative lead job advert implies, we really might not be as close to the next Civ game as we'd hoped. If nothing else, I'd be very surprised if we didn't get a lot more information and probably a trailer on Civilization 7 this year, but if we do have to wait a little longer, I'm sure we can all agree that that is okay because the most important thing is that when Civ 7 does arrive, it lives up to expectations. For more Civilization content, check out our channel and let me know whether you think Civ 7 will release this year down in the comments. Thank you for watching.